Pisces, you need to know this right now for April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces. For April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Pisces. For April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. The links are in the description. Pisces, these are your cards, honey. So... Pisces. You have the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Pisces, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Pisces, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now, Pisces, you might have many offers to choose from. And maybe this offer that's coming in, you may feel like it might not be good enough. However, you can tell me that you're looking at your options and... Most of these options don't look good to you. And maybe you're wanting to come in with an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Hmm. Or you're just making up scenarios in your head that it won't be accepted. Pisces, you have the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. I meant, really? The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Pisces, listen, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Now, Pisces, listen, you could be being recognized here, maybe with someone with work or business, and you have other options. You don't want this cup. 
you can tell me that someone's making an announcement here, maybe wanting to make it an official and go into commitment here. And I don't know, maybe you don't want this cup. Hmm. You can tell me that you're wanting to get someone's attention, someone that you might be fantasizing about. But I don't know if this person is in a commitment or you had some type of history with this person. You have this fear this cup won't be accepted. You have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance for Pisces. Clarify temperance for Pisces. Clarify temperance for Pisces. It is clarified with you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, the Queen of Cups. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So, Pisces, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the Queen of Cups. That just flew out. Who is that? <laughs> Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. So Pisces, listen, <clears throat> are you not accepting any offers because maybe you're wanting to heal things, mend things, work things out, and have a passionate new beginning with the person that you're already with? Are you thinking that, you know what, I want to start a passionate new beginning, but maybe I need to be patient and take my time here? Hmm. Pisces, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Pisces, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture, someone from your past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Six of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Six of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. 
But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. <clears throat> Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. It is clarified with you, Pisces, the moon. The moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Oh, Pisces, this is you. Hmm. Clarify the moon for Pisces. Clarify the moon for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the moon for Pisces. It is clarified with the hangman. This is you, Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the hangman for Pisces. Clarify the hangman. For Pisces. What about Pisces? Here we go. <laughs> Here we go with it. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the hangman for Pisces. Pisces, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this could be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Pisces, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. Pisces, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication here. Pisces, now... It's clear to see that you guys were on hold for a moment. You guys went stagnant for a moment. Okay. Just follow me, okay? <laughs> Pisces. This person that you were in a long-term relationship with may be getting your attention, Pisces. And wanting to reunite here. But during the time you guys were stagnant, you had these other options that you just really weren't interested in. But I want to know if you did take up with someone and now you're trying to like restrain yourself from that someone that you took up with 
because you feel like it wouldn't be fair and balanced or just because this person that you were in a relationship with is now back in the picture getting your attention wanting to reunite here so you're feeling like in a you're feeling like you're stuck in a situation because you sort of kind of started something but not really because you your heart mind soul wasn't really in it i hope you guys are following me like a rebound person that you really weren't really interested in at all. You were still, you still had feelings for your babe. And now that your babe is wanting to come into the picture, you're kind of trying to restrain yourself from the person that you wasted time with, past time with, or whatever. And it's also a secret, so you're feeling stuck. Oh my gosh, Pisces. You have justice again. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation, or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice. For Pisces. It is clarified with the Hierophants. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophants speaks to the leader of a religious organization. The leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman. A pastor. A preacher. A teacher. A coach. A mentor. A counselor. Someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Pisces, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you're deciding to work things out with this person that you were already in in a relationship long-term relationship with you guys could even be planning to go to the justice of the, of the peace for a commitment here because someone could be making an announcement wanting to make it an official here but so much has gone on to the point where you're stuck and you don't know if you want this offer because i feel like you got involved with someone to help waste the time or pass the time until this person came back in the picture. Uh -huh. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Pisces. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. The links are in the description. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says desire, lust, sexual chemistry. Desire, lust, sexual chemistry. What else? for Pisces what else for Pisces it says nightlife gamble take a risk Vegas nightlife nightlife gamble take a risk in Vegas I don't know was one of those options in Vegas somewhere I don't know what you got going on Pisces, you need to know this right now for April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.